What's good, everybody? It's me again. And today I'm going to take you through some two simple ways to make sure that your phone doesn't have spyware, malware, or just plain isn't hacked. Yeah, there's too much going on in these streets. We need to just put people straight, set them straight. You know, I mean, we're in the era where information is king. You know, everybody wants your information, everybody, from your competitors to your business partners, to the apps that you have on your phone, to social media sites, even like YouTube, to, of course, the jealous husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, and partner, whatever you guys are into these days. Yeah, everybody wants your information. And so how do you know whether your phone has been hacked or tapped or your calls diverted, et cetera, et cetera? Keep watching, because I've got the scoop. You know I do. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back, my name is Jessica. I'm a broadcaster, fitness enthusiast, biker girl, and a voice actor as well. I reside in Ghana, and today I'm gonna get in, just because I can. I happen to know these things, you know, and when I know, I gotta, 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 gotta share, because that's who I am. Ding! Click the subscribe button, you know I got you. Anyway, so, I'm gonna be sharing with you simple codes that you can punch into your phone to see whether your phone calls, for instance, are being diverted or being redirected. And these are very simple ways that you will be able to sort of know the activity that goes on in your phone whilst nobody's looking. Now, before I get into that though, real quick, okay, there are a couple of things that you need to also sort of just do go through to ensure that your phone is absolutely safe for you to continue using. And the simplest ways for you to go into your app settings, okay, or your application manager on your phone, go into settings, advanced settings, depending on your phone, uh, it'll differ on where these um, settings or these placements will actually be. But try and find your application manager, go through all the apps. If there are any apps in there that you did not install that look suspicious and that kind of thing, chances are they are. You can Google them to be sure that they're actually safe apps or find out what these apps do by um, checking or cross-checking them in the Google Play store and other um, stores that are verified. It, once that is out of the way, there are also application permissions that you can sort of revoke where you make sure that your phone does not install apps from unknown sources. Okay, so you're always making sure that you have apps from your Google Play Store or your iOS app store, you know, um, which are verified and you know, they actually know that these are not like apps that have spyware or malware or any of that weird stuff. Okay, cool. So now that these two are out of the way, let me tell you, if you've gone through all these and you're sure that you still don't have anything, but you want to like double, triple check, here is code number one. You just grab your phone and take note of this. Before I tell you the code, one important thing that you need to know about every single phone is every phone has an IMEI number. Now IMEI stands for International Mobile Equipment Identity. So it's like your phone's fingerprint. Now, if you lose your phone, you should be able to track your phone no matter where it is in the world with its IMEI number. And so it's very important that at least you should write it down. Now, how do you know what your IMEI number is? Simply dial on your phone and I'll go right here, star hash zero six hash and your IMEI number will pop up on your screen. You can write it down somewhere for safekeeping just in case your phone ever goes missing. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, let me show you something else. Now, the first thing you wanna to do to see if your phone is hacked or has malware, spyware, your calls have been diverted, is to simply dial star hash two one hash, and then you press send. It says MMI code started and soon something's gonna pop up on your screen. Now. Once this thing pops up, it's going to be giving you all the information you need to know to find out whether your calls are being diverted. So for instance, if you look on my phone screen, it says call forwarding unconditionally, voice not forwarded, data not forwarded, fax not forwarded, SMS not forwarded, sync 
async packet pad not forwarded. So it means that there is no app on my phone that is forwarding my messages even before it gets to my phone. And there are certain apps that can do that where as soon as you get a call, a call the call never actually hits your phone. It hits whoever's phone, um, whoever hacked your phone essentially. So if you're dialing say uh, um, 030212, whatever, whatever the number is, it will go to this other person who would have had or gained access to your phone. So this tells you that um, essentially, and hopefully if you, you know you dialed that number and there was no call forwarding, none of these are being forwarded, your calls are not being diverted, so you're safe. Now, if you wanna be double sure, there is another um, short code that you need to memorize. And it's pretty simple. It's star hash six two hash. Once again, simply dial the number, MMI code started, it will say, and then shortly it will pop up with information um, that you will need to know. So on this phone, it's telling me that when my phone is off or my number is not reachable, my calls are being diverted to this other phone number that just popped up on my screen. Now that is because I personally did that such that at any point in time, I can always be reached by people who need me, okay? If not on one phone, on the other. And I have two phones, reason why it's like that. But if, for instance, you have not deliberately put on call forwarding and you realize that there's a number that's been placed here um, in this particular um, um, tab, then you should know that your calls are going to go elsewhere whenever your phone is off. So these are really two quick, easy ways to sort of check that nobody has access to your calls, your SMSs, etc., and your phone is safe. Now, that being said, in case you're still in doubt, you're not sure, you know, you, you, you still strongly believe that your phone is hacked, just hit the factory reset button. Go ahead, back up all your necessary files and reset your phone. Now that way, if there's any spyware, malware, any apps that you may have missed, you will make sure that they are deleted completely. And then you can start afresh. Huge price to pay if you ask me, but totally worth it. I mean, you do want to keep the jealous boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, partner out, don't you? Thanks for watching. Until next time.